Let's say the 2011 nominal GDP is $15,294.3 billion. And I didn't just make this number up. This is actually the advanced estimate of what 2011's GDP was in the fourth quarter. And now this isn't just the fourth quarter number. They took the fourth quarter number and then they annualized this to get to this 15,000 billion, which is essentially $15.2943 trillion of GDP. And let's say that the GDP deflator relative to 2010, and you always have to know what you're taking your deflator relative to, is 102.5. And this is, once again, this is the 2011. This is the 2011 GDP deflator. And one way to interpret this is, if the base year is 2010, that means that prices in 2010 could be viewed as being at 100, and that now that we are in 2011, we are at 102.5. Or another way to think about it is that the general level of prices, and we've already talked about this, this is not an easy thing to measure, but they've attempted to, that the general level of prices has gone up by 2.5%. Went from 100 to 102.5. Now with that out of the way, we know what the nominal GDP is. The GDP measured in 2011 dollars, often called the current dollar GDP. We know what the deflator is. Can we figure out the real GDP in 2011? And it will be the real GDP in 2010 dollars, when we have the, 2000, the deflator relative to 2010. So to do that, we just have to remember that the ratio between our nominal GDP, nominal GDP, and our real GDP is going to be the ratio. It's going to be the ratio. You could view it as our current dollars versus 2010 dollars. Or another way of viewing it is it's the ratio between our deflator, our deflator, which is 102.5, and 100. Which is essentially, you could view that as kind of the deflator in 2010, or we're just setting that level of prices to be 100. Our prices now are the 102.5. So thinking of it that way, our, our nominal current dollar GDP is $15,294.3 billion, or you could view that as $15.2943 trillion, either way. Our real GDP is what we want to figure out. We do not know what this is. And we know our deflator. We know that things have gotten 2.5% more expensive, or that our deflator is 102.5. 102.5. And then we can just solve for we can just solve for the real GDP. And the 102.5 over 100, you might be able to do this one in your head. This whole expression right over here just becomes 1.025. And so you have this 15 trillion, 15 point something trillion divided by the real is equal to 1.025. Or you can divide both sides by 1.025 and multiply both sides by the real GDP. So let's do that. Let me scroll over to the left a little bit. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the real GDP. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the real GDP. And I'm going to divide both sides by 1.025. 1.025. 1.025. Now, of course, this cancels with that. That's why I multiplied both sides by the real. And then this cancels with that. And we get our real GDP. I'll just swap. Well, I'll leave it over here. Our real, let me do it in that same blue color. Our real GDP is equal to our current dollar GDP, 15,294.3 billion dollars divided by essentially the ratio between our deflator and 100, divided by 1.025. If I were in charge of naming macroeconomic concepts, I would have actually made this the deflator. I would have set this at 1, and I would have called this 1.025, because then you wouldn't have all this silliness of multiplying and dividing by 100. You would just say, hey, let's take our current dollar GDP, divide it by the deflator. I guess you could say we're going to deflate it to get the real GDP. It would just make a lot more sense to me. But either way, that's essentially what it simplified to. This is our current dollar GDP, our nominal GDP, dividing it by what I would have preferred to call the deflator, but you could view this as the deflator divided by 100, and that gives us our real GDP. We're just defla we're deflating the current dollar one, and I'm going to need a calculator to figure this one out. So let's get the calculator out. So we'll just do everything in billion. Fifteen thousand two hundred ninety-four point three. This is in billions, time or divided by. So our answer is going to be in billions. One point zero two five gives us fourteen thousand nine hundred twenty-one point three. 
So let me take that off the screen so I can remember what that says. I have a bad memory. All right, so this is our real GDP. Our real GDP is equal to 14,200, no, 921, 921.3, so I'm rounding, tr billion dollars. That is equal to our real GDP. 14,000 14, billion or 14.9 thousand billion is the same thing. You could also write this. This is the same thing as 14.9213 trillion. Trillion, trillion dollars.